So let's get Rennie and I off stage, please, and let's actually work on introducing you to these amazing startups. And there's nothing like starting with a surefire startup at the beginning, so we're going to welcome one that's actually already been funded. Um, J.R. Stormont from Cloudability. Good afternoon, I'm J.R. Stormont with Cloudability. The New York Times called us Mint.com for the cloud. What does that mean? We help companies manage their cloud costs and save real money. So the cloud is an amazing thing. It's enabling technology to innovate at a rate that it's never been possible in the past. Quite frankly, it's the biggest shift in technology since mainframes. No longer do companies have to spend all their time and resources on building out their basic infrastructure. There's now a business app for almost any business need. Now, these apps are on demand, they're totally scalable, they're self-service, and you can get started with them just by dropping down your credit card. It's a type of technology that's enabling all the startups here today to do what they're doing. So, the cloud is so great that companies are moving a lot of spending onto it. Um, we're talking about billions and billions of dollars this year, last year, and moving forward in the same trend. The problem is, companies are spending on the cloud like drunken sailors. We're seeing a whole new suite of problems arise around cloud spending. We're seeing lots of unintentional overages and spending, we're seeing wasteful spending, and we're seeing a very complex ecosystem of vendors that emerge in this uh, new cloud space. So we've launched our product uh, on November 2nd as part of Pi, uh, our public demo, our public beta. And uh, since that time, we now have 1,600 active companies using our product. And we're managing over $25 million of cloud spending for those companies. Uh, companies in 72 countries use cloudability to manage and monitor their cloud costs. And we've been written about by dozens of publications. So we just closed a $1.25 million seed round that was led by Trinity and Walton, as well as over $300,000 of investment from local uh, angels, and uh, uh, both here and in Seattle. So we're a team of eight. We're here today in Portland, by the way. Uh, so our platform has three products, and uh, we address these three problems in three different ways. The first product we have is a cost management product that helps address these uh, overages and unintentional spending. Now before I get into the second two, I'm gonna tell you a little story. So meet Jonathan Mutel. John is CTO of a San Francisco startup called SlideShare. You've probably heard of SlideShare if you've ever looked at uh, slides like this online after a talk. They host most of the presentations for speakers at events. So they're very big cloud users. In the past, before they used cloudability, they used to pull all their costs into a spreadsheet. And the spreadsheet was huge. Uh, they had lots of different cloud services, lots of vendors, and someone at their organization every day would literally log into all these services, pull down the information, and try and put it all into, down to the penny, uh, everything into one place. So this worked great for a while, except for the, the big time saving, or time spent doing it, until something happened a few months ago. One Thursday afternoon, John turned on 50 extra servers in the cloud. A few hours later, he got distracted by an unrelated crisis. Uh, something went wrong in another project, and the whole team went off to fix that problem. So after an all-nighter, the team all went home on Friday evening. They spent a long weekend relaxing after a long week, and they came back in on Monday. A few hours into the day, they realized, are those servers still on? They were. The cost? $5,000. Now, this one is one overage that is not actually the largest we've seen. We had another company uh, have a $20,000 overage, uh, just a few days before they found our product. Now that company in particular was a pre-revenue company, so that one really hurt. We had one company that had $120,000 overage over the course of one month when an auto-scaler went awry, which basically meant it was turning on all these servers throughout the month and not turning them off. So it's important to note that this money didn't go to getting more clients, it didn't go to hiring more resources, it didn't improve their services in any way. It just went up in flames. Love Keynote. <laughs> we built Cloudability to solve these kinds of problems. So setup is really easy. It takes about five minutes. First, companies tell us all the different ways that they use the cloud. They then select their individual services from our list of 81 supported cloud vendors. And then they add all their individual cloud accounts, as, as many as they have. If they've got 10 Amazons, 5 Roku's, 3 Rackspaces, they can add them all in. We then start pulling together uh, a list of uh, all your reports into one place, your costs. We get visual trending of spending over time. And we even do things like let you uh, estimate what your spending is going to end up at the end of the month. 
One of the most simple pieces of our platform, but also the most popular, is the daily email that we send. In this daily email, we take all the costs from lots of disparate vendors and put them into a simple, easy to read digest format that says basically, here's what you spent so far this month. And here's some things you might want to pay attention to, maybe some spending that's ticking up or uh, going in a way that's unexpected. We also let companies set preset budget thresholds and get alerts when they reach those limits. So the second part of our platform is an optimizer that helps curb wasteful spending. Uh, what we do is we look at all the cloud accounts uh, that they've added to Cloudability, and we give them actionable, specific advice on how they can change certain things to save money. Now, this may be things like turning off servers that aren't being used, or dialing back a service that's been over-provisioned for what you really need, or it could be things like identifying uh, redundancy, extra accounts that you are using for, or seats that you're paying for but not using. Um, in an early sample of customers in our private beta using this new product, we were able to save them over $2,000 a month per customer. So the third thing we do is a discovery product, and this helps customers navigate the complex cloud ecosystem. We use cohort analysis to analyze uh, patterns of spending within our cloud users. So when we see a pattern like this one, where we have 10 companies who use the same four services, and an 11th company pops up that uses all but one of those services, it's a pretty good bet that they're going to be a good fit for that fourth service. So we'll target them a special offer to get going on that service. And this is a win-win-win for all involved. So as I mentioned before, we're currently a team of eight. All the co-founders are lifelong entrepreneurs. We've worked together previously, and we've scaled technology platforms into millions of dollars of revenue. We also have a fantastic group of advisors, a number of our Portland-based people who came through this uh, great pie experience that we had. So we've also been blessed by Amazon Web Services and brought them into their exclusive solution provider program. They call our technology rock solid, and they've even begun sending customers to us. So no matter what kind of cloud services you use, and whether you're a Fortune 500 managing hundreds of accounts or a small startup managing just a few, and no matter what type of service in the cloud you're using, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, or software as a service, we're Cloudability, and we cover your ass.